Subscribe to join us and our travels as we share our life on the sea. So it's about 3 a.m. and we are motor sailing because the wind is about, it's nearly sailable. I'm tempted to put the sails up, it's like 30 degrees. No, nothing to angle just yet. I've had wind on the nose most of the night. The captain's just gone to sleep and we've got 30 nautical miles to go. It's about 5.30 in the morning and we're still motoring, motor sailing. The sun is coming out, there's lots of clouds, but we hit the moon with this last night and it was beautiful, it's pretty cold. It'd be nice to have an enclosed cockpit, especially when it's cold. It's about 20 nautical miles to go, about four hours, we're going around five knots, so unless the wind picks up, we should be in there around 9, 10 o'clock in the morning, and our plan is just to stay there for the night, check in head off down the Baja coast tomorrow. Easy tiger, easy, let your hair down. Come closer, let me see. All your million faces and all your million mistakes. You don't need to hide. Come closer so that we can So it's 6am, I just woke up for my first watch and I'm so tired. Yeah, we're like only 20 nautical miles away from the marina and I don't really like going to marinas but this one's good because we're only going for like one day and they check you in for you, like bring you to the immigration and all of that in a car. like. It's really easy, so we like to go there when we check in, but the sun is starting to come up, so it's nice. I think my favourite watch is probably early morning. It's freezing, as you can see. I am rugged up because there is not much wind. Well, there's a bit of wind, but it's not on the right angle. If you were wondering, like, you want to watch by yourself without a life jacket? No, I have a life jacket on. How was your night, babe? You did most of the watch. What what happened? You know how it is when you're beaten into an ocean? It wasn't too bad actually. We had the wind though. The wind was at like 30 degrees all night. About 17 knots. On the nose. Uh, sort of had a little bit of wind against swell. It wasn't too bad though. We just sort of motor sailed. We just, it was time to make a move. The weather window definitely is better the following days ahead but our visas didn't allow for that so we had to make a move after we check in today to Mexico have light breezes behind us for the rest of the week about a couple nautical miles out of Ensenada so we've arrived we've arrived at rain which is you know this is supposed to be yeah. a desert <laughs> we left San Diego that apparently never rains and we've seen a lot of rain, a lot of storms. Uh, it's cold, it's still cold. Surely it wasn't us, because we usually bring the warm weather. We but, uh, bring the sunshine, baby. We definitely <laughs> seen our fair share of wind and rain. and But we love San Diego. It was a great place, great people. So many people helped us out this time when we we're there. We're so grateful. A new voyage ahead. No, we're not sailors. We're <laughs> explorers. No, we've got a lot to learn with this boat. I think it's going to be fun. And something out about the moon without glasses on, and then, and then I was, put them on. I was just telling Lee, I haven't worn glasses ever. Maybe the last year of being on the land, I had glasses to drive. They were really mild. They weren't. Uh, you can really tell when you wore them. The difference. But my eyes have obviously deteriorated over time and I can't see in the distance very well so when we're sailing I wear my glasses because it's safer for everyone. 
Anyway, last night we had a big, full, beautiful moon and it looked so amazing in my glasses. I just didn't realize. Like it was just like a, a white glowing ball before, but last night it was, yeah, it was, it was stunning. You could see detail and it was a really nice thing to see. Move seals. Hello, excuse me. Coming through. Hello. Oh, Hey, wake him up. Buddy, move. Quick, 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 move. Anyway, there's a seal. Oh my god. Move, move. Hello. Can we wake him up? Uh, about a meter. Back in Ensenada. Just for the night. We've made it to the dock. We have arrived in Mexico. The best part about arriving at an anchorage, well, a marina, is the silence of when the motor gets turned off. The peace and quiet. I love it. The motor's not off yet, but it will be soon. There are so many seals. We were, com we were coming in and we like, we're like nearly running them over, they're all in the water. All right, we've run into the marina. We're going to now go and check into the country. To check in. One of the reasons we love staying at Cruise Port Marina is because they take you, they do all the paperwork and then they take you to all the offices, so it's super easy. Hey. Hey, babe. Yeah, but hey. And we're checked into Mexico. We have done all that we need to do in one day in Ensenada, Mexico, and now we're ready to set off from the marina and start adventuring. So, let's go. All right, we're about to untie the lines. Leave in Ensenada and we're heading down the Baja coast. There's a new day that will come again tomorrow. There's a new day to wash away the pain. Darn, eh? Off we go again. Darling, you've got to keep holding on through the night. Cause I We've just come out. Well, we got, we're still in the bay and the wind's on the nose at the moment, but it should be on the beam, which is good. We should be able to set sails and fly down the coast, but our kids are about to put the sail up and then we're going to turn the corner and then we are going to be banging down the Baja coast to Mexico. Are we? You! It's on the nose for you to put the sail up. for you to get the sail up mate. Okay, that's perfect. That's all I'm doing. It's all for you, Taz. Six knots into the wind. It's 
like a 40 degree angle the wind is which if we were in Catalpa we would not be sailing along at six knots so this is pretty amazing yeah we've been about 35 to 40 degrees and haven't got all the sails out just a little bit up and we're cruising along at six knots I'm just playing around we don't have rods and a lot of tackle on the boat but before we left San Diego I just got a hand line and apparently a cedar plug is one of the uh, little specials down this coastline never used one and uh, I'm gonna put this out I don't know where I'm gonna tie it to or how I'm gonna get it in I've never fished off this boat but the tender is right at the height where it won't allow us to from behind so I don't know See, you have to work, work it out because we need some fish. We need fish. Sailing! <laughs> we are on our way off on new adventures. We got our new precision sail up for the first time and we are hooking along. Six knots. We haven't even got our proper angle yet. We're going to have wind behind us hopefully the whole way down the coast. So. Weather looks good. The sun is shining. We are sailing without the engine and it's absolutely amazing nice looking little thing a few people have told me about these but the original person that told me it's good old matthew from nalakai so uh matt said you got to get yourself a cedar plug because he spent a little bit of time over here in san diego on the boats and uh all right matthew let's see if uh oh we don't hook me and we hook a fish <laughs> cedar plug here we go Alright, here he goes. He's rigging up his line somewhere. See how this is going to work. We haven't fished off Catalpa 2 before, so this is the first. Alright. So, how do we know when this goes off? We don't. This is amateur hour, mate. Have you used one of these before? No. Let's hope there's dinner on the end of this line. Alright. I could just put a light head of something here. Just left Ensenada. We're heading down this coast line. Probably to San Quintan. Quintin? San Quintin? Quintin? San Quintin? I don't know how to say it. But that's where we're going. It's about 100 nautical miles. Yeah, we're on a really big lean. So we're just turning around the corner here and the wind is now behind us. So Lisa's is adjusting the sails. Alright guys, I don't usually drink under passage, but I, I needed a can, so the only can we had was this. So what I've done, we don't have a fishing rod, and usually it's the ratchet on our reel that goes woo, we know we've got a fish. So I'm going to rig up a little line to this. I've just put some little one cent US pieces in here. I'm going to put a bit of string on that and attach it to our line so it... That's the dinner bell for fish on uh, Catalpa 2. See if it works. Taja's just got to watch Lee. Lee has just put the water maker on, disturbing the peace. And uh, Taj yelling out something. Let's go see what it is. What was it? I see it, I see it. Oh, it's a ball of the boom out. Oh, Look, it's a, it's a small whitey. I can see it. A shark? Yeah. What was it, Taj? Big shark. Big shark. Massive one. Cool afternoon. It's about five or six and we're going to go through the night and go to San Quintin tomorrow morning about 5 a.m. Really? Yeah. That is our ETA. Approximately 
if we keep at this speed. Doing six knots at the moment. Very comfortable six knots. The water is kind of clearish. Could you see the shark really good? Yeah. I'm just swimming along beside us. Fish on the rod? No, you would have heard a ching ching. <coughs> Taj is on watch, eating an orange. And Bella is in the kitchen. She's going to whip us up some muffins. All right. We're going to make some muffins. What kind of muffins are we making? Uh, I don't know yet. I kind of just make up the recipe as I go. I think I feel like chocolate chip ones. I don't know if you can see it through the camera, but see all the little bubbles that are on top of the water? They are blue bottles or man of war. Man of war? Man of war. They actually hurt when, when you sting, but they're not deadly. They're everywhere. And they're in Australia, and we're actually really used to those. But it's been on watch this afternoon, and within 15 minutes, we've seen a plague of man of wars. And great white. A big great white. <laughs> I will say this, the colour of the ocean is lovely, it's the loveliest colour we've seen in a really long time, so it's getting as, clear, as it? soon as those blue bottles disappear and it gets a bit warmer, we'll be in there. So we're just up here watching all the blue bottles pass on by, float on by, because there's like a billion of them, and Lee thinks they're called Man of Wars, I thought they were called Manta Wars. <laughs> But we were both wrong. <laughs> They're called. What are they called, Tash? Man o' war. Man o' war. A Portuguese man o' war. Where we're from, we call them blue bottles. So we just turn the water maker off, which is lovely and peaceful again. And I think the muffins are ready. <gasps> yeah. Look at them. Yum. I have one. Yeah. Oh, it's a bit hot. Make it dinner when it's really rolling. <laughs> the pan won't stay still. It's a, it's a got a gimbal, I just don't trust it. It slides and then I freak out. So I just look, it, it stays on there, but yeah, so we drop mainsail now. We get a good one. rock and then it slides it up like oh it's gonna go flying, so this is me for the next half a main up, so wind for some odd reason picks up. It is so rocky. I can't really see it on the camera, but it's like, woo, woo. People say that mono holes are better than catamarans. Are they? <laughs> and we did live on a catamaran for a couple of months, so we have the perspective of a catamaran and a mono hole. It's not some just biased dream that we have that we think they're better. We know they're better. It's way easy to cook in a catamaran. Absolutely. This is like dangerous in the kitchen. You're gonna get like a saucepan <laughs> flying at your head. Well, we had no luck with fishes, so this hairline thing is kind of Ooh. fucked. <laughs> your dinner's delicious, right? Yeah, it was. It's delicious. I actually really like this sauce on it. What is that sauce? It's called gravy dal. This is beautiful dal. So wrist holes and gravy. It's a real Aussie dinner. Dad loves it. Look at him hoeing in. What do you call this, Dale? Rissoles. Everybody cooks rissoles, Dale. Yeah, yeah, but it's what you do with them. Like the green beans? Oh, that's the part that just makes it pop. Right, it's super rolly. We're not loving this. Taj is on watch. Lee's having a rest. Ella and I. I gotta watch a movie. Watching <laughs> boss. Mudwater is a coffee alternative and is a part of our morning ritual, whether we are sailing or anchored up exploring. Its health benefits from the organic ingredients of medicinal mushrooms, cacao and spices help us with focus, energy and immunity without the jitters or dependency. We love the flavour and know that by including healthy habits like this in our morning routine, we set ourselves up to feel good no matter what the day brings. So it's about 6am and we had kind of a rough night last night. Um, kids are late in all the watches. I was a bit awake but late was up all night and things were, were flying a little bit through the night but I was lucky enough I pretty much be in bed nearly all night, didn't sleep much but I still wasn't on watch so that was lovely. Making the, the K 
captain and mud water. Yeah, the captain's wrecked. It's a bit of a night. Anyway, I'll get some mud water into him and uh, he might have a rest until we get into where we're gonna anchor. We have wind behind us, but it's just this favorite swell. Really calmed off this morning. The wind's about 12 knots. I'm behind. There's our dinner dishes in the sink. Well, a lot of mix well, sails flogging, adjusting every 10 minutes. I'm tired. 20 knots, 5 knots, wind shift. It's very busy. Every time you went to lay down, you couldn't lay. Set everything up, go lay down, get someone to go and watch, and then everything changes and starts flogging. And Ah, oh, this is one of those nights. Well, you got your mud water. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you next time.